Hi, good morning everybody. I'm doing this now. Uh, one of the new rooms that was released this week, Slingshot. This is about um, the new path of Trihag Me. The new SOC level 2. Since I'm trying to do what uh, possible as I can. Now, this room basically what it said that the company Slingway and C leading toy company has an e-commerce web server potential modification to its data was a database being hacked investigate suspicious activity they hired you as a SOC analyst the web server logs and cover any instance militia activities uh, they give us elastic stack instance and then access to Kibana dashboard IT staff mentioned that the special activity we have the date was July 26 so we need to log into uh, Elastics with a password. Let's see what we have. Uh, of course, now we know the, these things. We need to know something. If we know it's an e-commerce, so the attack was from the web. We know if you have a web application, it have some scans. That's why the question said, "What's the IP? What's the scan?" and things like that. So the first thing, of course, we go to discover. I like this version of Elastic, is that it looks like the latest one. Uh, we have the log is Apache log, we need to fix the date because they set us is 26 July, so we have July the 26. Of course we need to have the date, then we change that to absolute, so it's also July the 26. Then the play with the time to midnight. So they have a whole day, check. Now let's have all that. Also what I like to do, what I learned from previous rooms is go to visualize library. So, and here we have the, uh, we have 3000 uh, things. So make it easy, you can see now what I like, so it gives you so a response status. We look, we nice this to have like uh, the one that work access not uh, status code we don't the URI we like it because you know what attack is trying to access then the the agent what he's using so to help us to detect the names HTTP method also I see what the hell is doing the remote address we need the IP the access in the server and this we can ask this like transaction remote address let's get it here Create a new one, do lens. Let's search for transaction remote address. Let's see transaction remote address. Let's do it as a table. We can increase the numbers here. So the first thing keep this, so this this one IP that has 2565, so you can guess this is a normal customers, and this is definitely is the hacker. You can guess this IP, and, and that's what the first IP it should be, yes, no one make 2056 requests, so it must be him. So it's not it is not this one. So we can see later on when you start, we can see now it's the same IP address running. Uh, let's do first quick things. Get from the old to new. <coughs> from old to new, you can see now this is normal IPs. There's nothing. They just go into the website. This is normal things. And then you can see the 2.15, it starts. Uh, if we scroll down, then it's a 4.4, four, then go past. You can see this is the hack IP. So let's edit, press no, assign. So add it to the filter, so now we work directly with the hacker, uh, 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 what the hacker is doing. So we have the IP, we have all that. Do we need something else? Um, Let's add this one too, make our life easier. So we know is the person. 
you can see how it start here. It's it start. It start. Uh, is using nmap. So let's go to the question. So, what was the first scanner the attacker used against the web server? You can see the first thing the attacker used. If you look at the the, the time here, it's is using this nmap scripting engine control C I can and then what was the user agent uh, agent of the direct to emulation so now we know I was doing nmap then later on what he switched to if we scroll down you see now he start going go bust on you can see the 4-4 four, four, uh, so we know is the go bus and we can do that um, request head the user agent if I remove this and just the request header uh, what's the name request header dot user headers request request headers if I go this you can see now we have the total the most numeric is the the go buster then we have hydra so you can guess hydra there uh, the rest of the agent are not really uh, that's a normal agent so if we go increase there see so the mozilla things so we have hydra with a go buster so nmap will be down here so we know now he use go buster so that's cool in total how many request resources on the web server did the attacker fail if it's fail it should be 4-4 four, four. so we can add this so we add 4-4 four, four because 4-4 four, four it means not found so we know it's 1867 so 1867 request not found and all this will be go buster the, this go buster offer so this is all the request uh, but because now we don't need the the not found so we can eliminate them from the search so we can just remove them so we just put minus we click on minus we don't need to see the 4x4 four four, four, uh, 404 because are, uh, are not there so we don't need it then the question said what is the flag and the interesting directory what is the directory so if we scroll down uh, hold on let me confirm because sometimes this from old to new this is not old from new is a uh, old old from new he didn't go to php my admin this is later on so he start there with his own map then you try to access the admin then the backup so it's interesting file here and you can see that's the flag so you already that he found it there then what login page did the attacker discover using a direct animation tool so now the attacker said you can see he's trying here the 401 it means you can't access this page because you need a login, uh, login detail that's an authorization it means you are not authorized to access this page so the attacker found this using GoBuster so this is the login page for the admin then what was the user agent of the brute force tool that the attacker used to admin pan now what happened after you can see is so next to it is Hydra now we start using Hydra so before you go buster now you start using hydra to to uh, oops you start using hydra to guess the password so it's brute force the password now what username so to get to, for him to log in it means he was he he was find like, so we can remove this because 401 it means not authorize filter it out so we have the log if we filter that out 
we should find where he logged in. You see, this is the two places where he logged in. Because now it's 200. 200 is mean he was able to access this page. So if we go there, you see that's the lot uh, here. And then he said close all the author authorization basic. So he's using basic authorization. And you can guess this is that's the, the the password and admin. You can see he's using uh, using uh, it's encoded base 64, so he has that. Then what was the flag was included in the file that attack upload? Now let's follow the the story. Here's the upload directory, and then this is upload action upload action. It means that's where the, where, where the upload file was sent. You can see the upload is here. It's web shell. So if we go here, you can see the action. After the action, after the file was sent, you can see here system command, and that's the flag that Trihack me put for us. And this is like uh, the shell. Uh, a remote shell you can see this get command system so we have that you can see it's uploading the web called uh, easy-simple-phpwebshell.com and you can see now he start using the command now the question is what's the first command attack use so if you follow the story upload the things and then you can see command is who am I after uploading it now he start using it so he did who am I first and then what location the web server did attack at extract database credential uh, using local file inclusion LFI so if we follow this story now he's, he's doing admin sitting page and uh, now you can see He's doing an LFI here in the password, but he's not. You can see admin sitting. He said the question is extract database credential. When we talk about database, it means he's trying to get the PHP my admin. You can see here, etc password is for user, not for the database. So basically, this one is for the database. He's trying to access the database for PHP my admin. Now he got it. What he did now. Did the attacker use to access the database manager? What directory did the, uh, the attacker use to access the? Of course, the database because it's PHP my admin. You can guess this is the the PHP my admin. It's uh, straightforward, so it's a PHP my admin. What is the name of the database being exported? So if after that you can see is doing there then. Is playing where we're looking now for the export part. No theme index, this is all in PHP. My admin reload the new SC plus S host. Where is the export part? Table is reading database here. This database is doing something here. Let's see. Deep <coughs> DB structure is a, this is database is using customer credit card. Uh, so he's accessing this database, so we know sure he's doing that. Uh, let's take this name, but let's confirm with the keyword. Uh, let's say if there is a keyword export, export. Yeah, we have export here, table export. 
Well, let's do this straight export php let's watch it there well, then, well, then we do the surrounding php export um, connection cookie Sorry guys, it's exporting this database. Now the next question, what flag does the attacker insert? So we know now it's exporting this. Now, what insert? I can just say insert here. Let's see if I have an insert somewhere. <coughs> no, it's as if we can we can check all of them, it's a four of them, so it's not like too much. So we can see here, uh, user Asian uh, connection, I can't see. You know what, because it's encoded, let's do this quickly, let's copy part of it. Uh, I'm a bit, uh, let's encode, remove that uh, DRLs. Uh, I still don't get, didn't get my glasses yet. It's in uh, fixing upgrade uh, post export. This is must be export. It's not the one I'm looking for. Let's see the next one. Insert type insert after. Not this one. The next one. Okay, this is one should be the one I'm looking for. Copy. Let's take that format off. My eyes are burning. So if we if we look here, say, where is the insert statement now? Control F insert find insert. I can't see. Uh, SQL query insert into credit cards card number card holder value so this is what the attacker he insert this the credit the card number so now I can see so it is a color card number here the card card number where the name is it this one so this one should be the answer okay guys hope you like it so that's one way you play around it make your uh, your colons you can play with this to faster way to do it and hope you like it and please like and share and comment please guys oh, let me do the finish it and then you get uh, you get a badge here where is that badge I always freezing when you make uh, this uh, uh, yeah and then you get award of this nice little badge okay guys thank you have a good day bye bye